द क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन द क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन कैन बी ईजीली अंडरस्टैंड बाय द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स किंगडम फाइलम क्लास ऑर्डर फैमिली जीनस एंड स्पेशीज लस इज द डिटेल अकाउंट ऑफ ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग द ह्यूमन बॉडी द किंगडम ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग इज एनिमेलिया द किंगडम एनिमेलिया इंक्लूड्स ऑल दोज लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हुज बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ अ सेल विच लैक्स द सेल वॉल एंड इट डजेंट हैव इट डजेंट हैज द क्लोरोफिल पिगमेंट it 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 lacks the chloroplast and one more important characteristics of this kingdom animalia the organism who belongs to kingdom animalia are able to move on their own means they can transfer their place from one area to another area by their own without the support of anyone or without the support of any resource so kingdom animalia then comes the phylum the phylum of the human is chordates or chordata the word chordate derived from the two greek word chord and ata the meaning of chord or this word derived from the notochord word and not notochord word means a rod stiff hard structure in the body and ata means bearing so cord ata animals means those animals who is having notochord in their body and human in the body of human being this notochord is replaced by the vertebral column and that vertebral column is more popularly known as backbone means the backbone having living organism of the world are known as chordates so this is the phylum of the human um, known as chordates and its a phylum is vertebrates means the backbone having animal then comes the class the class of the human being is mammal or mammalia mammals are those chordates which is having fur on their body or hair on their skin and the most important thing regarding the mammals they are having mammary gland in their body in the region of their chest and this is the gland uh, uh, capable of producing a liquid on which their baby get nourishment and the name of that liquid is milk this milk can be secreted by the female mammary gland as this mammary gland are also present in the re- in the body of the male also but in the body of male that mammary gland doesn't produce milk so class mammals means the mammary gland having living organism of the world then in the list comes the number of uh, order the order of the human being is primates the primates are those mammal which is having the collar bone and they are having the grasping fingers at this ability the organism having the collar bone and the grasping finger they are known as primates then comes the next word family the family of the human being is hominidae or hominids hominidae organisms belongs to this family are having the feature like uh, they are having the flat face and they are having the three dimensional vision so human belongs to this uh, uh, hominidae family means human faces are flat and they are having the three dimensional vision characteristics then comes the genus the genus of the human being is homo h o m o the homo organism belongs to this homo genus they are with the upright posture and the large brain and 
Human are the only surviving species of the Homo genus in the world. So this is the special characteristics of the Homo living organism in the world. So human are Homo. Human belongs to Homo uh, this genus. And the last point in the classification is known as species. And the species of the human being is Homo sapien. The most and the most popular word uh, for the human being as a species name as a scientific name is homo sapien means homo sapien means those living organism those homo those mammal those primates those hominid those chordates those animalia who is having the high forehead and the thin skull bone in their body so this is the classification of the human being thank you